Today I'm gonna show you how to brush your amigurumi. So this is a cat that I'm working on and I have uh, made the head so far and I used some natural fiber so I used 100% uh, uh, alpaca for, for this one. And then, then I took this brush and I brushed it. I'm gonna show you how you can get this look as well. I think it's very cute and it adds a little extra spice to the <laughs> To, the, to your amigurumi. Also stay to the end of the video because I'm going to show you how I sewed on the ears. It can be a little challenging when you are making the different parts and want to sew them together when you have this fluff here. And if you don't know me, my name is Ragnil and I make amigurumi patterns here on YouTube. Also I have a blog where I share my free patterns so don't forget to check that out. Also don't forget to check out my fan page on uh, Creative Fabrica, so you get the little extra patterns and free stuff there if you subscribe there. So I wish you lots of fun with this tutorial. So if you are, if you want to make a fur, you can use these types of brush. I just bought mine at a local store, and you can find this maybe at pet stores or or hardware stores or online. But uh, they are like these little steel brushes. Uh, and um, I just made an example here, I made a little head and I increased, I started with six single crochets in the ring and I increased until 36 single crochets. I made nine rounds and I started to decrease again until I had 18 stitches left. Also I made some ears because I thought this would be a cat. and. Uh, I tried to brush another piece that I made, but it was with acrylic, so I think it will be better today because I'm. This is hundred percent. This is hundred percent natural fiber, and this is what left over for me. So I think it's alpaca, but you can also use wool, and I think also bamboo would work. But anyway, I'm gonna just gonna start and brush now, and we'll see how this will look. So this is working quite well. I'm I'm using much force here. So I'm not trying to be so careful. So just a minute or so from brushing, it looks like this. And I'm gonna brush until you can see the stitches. And I'm gonna repeat this all around here. So depending how many hairs you want, you can just continue or stop. So, and now I have those tiny ears. I'm gonna try and brush those too. This kind of hurts a little bit because it's small, so maybe hold it like this. Okay, and now we're gonna find some safety eyes. Those are, I think, eight millimeter. I'm just gonna place them here in the middle. So I found a nice place for the eyes. It's on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have placed the eyes here and um, I'm gonna sew on the ears. I just stuffed the head and I'm just gonna attach the ears. So uh, these are here at rounds one, two, three, from round four. And I just go back, try to go back to the same place. It's maybe harder now since it's all um, 
because of all the fur it's maybe easier to go up and down here but I'm just trying So it's harder to attach the, the body parts because you can't see like where you're going so good. But uh, so far it works out for me. You can also try and go up down there and up through the next stitch here. If you have a, a tapestry needle with like a bent tip you will be able to do that. I had some but I can't find them. I'm just gonna sew on the ears and I'm gonna repeat this with the other one. So now the ears are, have been sewed on and I'm just gonna make a little nose with some pink yarn. We have some pink yarn and I'm gonna making a little nose here in the middle I'm just sewing here up and down. So. Okay, this was just uh, to show you how to uh, work with the brush here. And um, I'm gonna, gonna write up this pattern with the cat for you and I'm also gonna finish the body. But I just wanted to pop on here real, real quick today and give you this tutorial. I haven't been uh, crocheting so much lately and um, also it's summer and I'm enjoying the time with my family and uh, we are enjoying the nice weather here that we have. So uh, probably I won't be updating so much in the summer but for sure I will make more tutorials in the fall but anyways I hope that you like this be sure to check out my uh, creative with fabrica fan page and also my blog and my instagram thank you for watching I wish you a nice day goodbye